My name is Thomas and in this video I am going to explain how to troubleshoot Office 365 Exchange Account Setup Failure in Outlook. Okay, so account setup can fail due to various reasons. So I am going to explain this based on a few common scenarios. So in the first scenario, we are going to add an email account to Outlook for the first time. That means uh, we are going to add uh, probably a newly created email account and this is the first time we are going to access this email account using Outlook. So let's try to add the account. Okay, so this is the email account I'm going to add. And it's a newly created email account. This account was created a few minutes back. Okay, so you can see that uh, account setup failed with the error something went wrong and it says something went wrong and output couldn't set up your account. Please try again. All right, so how are we going to fix this? Okay, so I'm going to sign into this account through a web browser like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Let me try to sign into this email account using Microsoft Edge. Okay, so this is the link uh, to access your Office 365 account through a browser outlook.office365.com Okay, and you can see that uh, the browser returned an error, error 500, and it says something went wrong. We couldn't find a mailbox for this account. Either they don't have a mailbox or don't have a license assigned. So, uh, if the account setup fails in Outlook and when you try to access the same email account through a web browser, and if you get the error 500, that means uh, the email account does not have a license assigned. So when an email account is created in Office 365 admin portal, the account should have a license assigned. So to be specific, the email account should have exchange online plan assigned. So that is what gives uh, a mailbox to the email account. So without a mailbox, you you won't be able to access that email account through a web browser or any applications like Outlook. Okay, so to fix this, we are going to assign a license to this email account using Office 365 admin portal. Okay, so we are in the admin portal now and to assign license, you have to go to users, active users, and here you can see the email address uh, we tried to add to Outlook. So to, to assign license, you can click on the user account. Then go to license and apps. And from here you can assign a license. So here Office 365 E3 license is available. I'm selecting this. Okay, and here you can see that Exchange Online Plan 2 is included here. So Exchange Online uh, is what creates a mailbox for user accounts. So even if you uncheck all these options like Azure Rights Management or Common Data Service for Teams and select only Exchange Online, whether it is Plan 2 or Plan 1, it will still work. Your email account will have a mailbox created. Okay, so now it has a license assigned and we are going to save the changes. Okay, so now let's try to add this email account to Outlook once again.
okay so you can see that the account was successfully added okay so that is how we fix it uh, especially when you are adding any email account to outlook for the first time uh, ensure that the email account you are trying to add uh, has a license assigned and you can check that by signing into your office 365 account through a web browser okay and uh, that was the first scenario and in the second scenario we are re-adding an email account to the outlook so let's say uh, the account you are trying to add to outlook was previously set up in outlook and you had to remove it for some reason and now you are trying to re-add the account and the account setup is failing so in that case it could be due to a bad password and as a bad password when you try to add an email account to outlook and when outlook uses basic authentication or legacy authentication to connect to exchange online your computer stores the password under windows credential manager and if you're trying to re-add the email account there's a possibility that outlook will uh, pick the password from the credentials which are stored in credential manager and in case if you have changed uh, the password or the entry which is stored in credential manager uh, is corrupted for some reason the account setup uh, will fail so let me show you how to remove uh, the stored credential from credential manager so to open credential manager you can uh, click on the start button and when the start menu pops up type in credential manager and go to windows credentials okay and here you can see uh, multiple entries and you would see an entry similar to this which says microsoft office 16 underscore data ssp followed by your email address so if you see an entry like this you can remove it then try to add the email account to outlook so you can remove it by clicking on this uh, entry and selecting remove and when you go to credential manager if you are not seeing an entry like this it could be because outlook used modern authentication to connect to exchange online the last time you added the account to outlook so when Outlook uses modern authentication to connect to Exchange Online, uh, your computer doesn't store the credentials in Credential Manager. It will be stored only when Outlook uses basic or legacy authentication to connect to Exchange Online. So uh, there is an easy way to understand uh, whether Outlook is using basic authentication or modern authentication to connect to exchange online uh, let me let me tell you how to identify that okay so when you try to add an email account and when you are asked to enter the password if you are seeing a window like this the one on the left that means outlook is using basic or legacy authentication to connect to exchange online and when you are asked to enter the password, if you are seeing a window like this, the one on the right, that means Outlook is using modern authentication to connect to Exchange Online. So if you are sure that uh, Outlook on your computer is not using uh, legacy or basic authentication, you can uh, skip this step. So in the next scenario, we are going to add an email account that has MFA or multi-factor authentication turned on. So you're trying to add an email account that has MFA enabled and the account setup fails no matter uh, what password you're using like uh, the application password or the regular password. Okay, so in that case what you have to check is uh, check if Outlook is using modern authentication or basic authentication to connect to Exchange Online. 
if Outlook is using basic authentication and if, uh, your email account has MFA enabled, there is a possibility that the account setup will fail. There is a Microsoft documentation that talks about. Let me show you that one. And here it says the cause. This issue might occur if you, if your Exchange administrator enables multi-factor authentication MFA for your account, but doesn't enable modern authentication for the Exchange tenant organization. So when uh, modern authentication is not enabled, Outlook will use basic authentication. And when uh, basic authentication is used and MFA is enabled, there is a possibility that the account setup will fail. And the reason uh, Microsoft says is basic authentication is not capable of handling MFA. So in this case, what you have to do is you have to go ahead and disable multi-factor authentication for your email account okay so let me show you how to do that again we are going to office 365 admin center okay so um, to do this you need to have uh, office 365 administrator privileges so if you do not have uh, admin privileges you can uh, take help uh, from the Office 365 admin or you can contact the uh, IT help desk team uh, in your organization. So to, to disable MFA, we are going to users, active users, and you have to select the email account which you want to disable MFA. And if you scroll down, here you can see manage multi-factor authentication. Okay, and click on the email account. And from here, select the option disable and say yes. And that will turn off uh, multi-factor authentication for that account. And once it is turned off, we can try to add the email account here output. Uh, from a security perspective, it, it uh, may not be a good idea to turn off multi-factor authentication. So if you wish to keep uh, MFA turned on, you can um, enable modern authentication uh, for your tenant, then try to add the email account without turning off multi-factor authentication. So if you want to know how to uh, enable modern authentication for your tenant uh, there is a Microsoft article that uh, describes the steps so if you go to Google and type in enable modern authentication for Office 365 you can find the Microsoft documentation okay so here is the article okay so um, if account setup fails when multi-factor authentication is enabled and you realize that uh, Outlook is using basic authentication either enable uh, modern authentication then try to add or turn off multi-factor authentication for your email account then try to add the account using a basic or legacy authentication and uh, that should be helpful what to do if none of these steps are not working or you have eliminated all these possibilities and you have found that account setup is uh, failing and it's not because of a license related issue or it's not because of uh, the cached credentials or it has nothing to do with a multi-factor authentication or modern authentication so in that case go ahead and check if you have uh, your email account listed under work or school account in Windows settings and on the computer where you're trying to add your email account. Okay, so how to check that? Uh, click on the start button, go to settings. And go to accounts. 
select um, access of work or school and check if you have uh, the email account you're trying to add to outlook is listed here so if you have the email account listed here try removing the account from here you can remove the account by clicking on the account and selecting the option disconnect then yes so if you, if you see the account listed here remove the account from access work or school then try to add the email account to outlook what if the account setup is still failing you have you have tried all these steps or you have eliminated all these possibilities and account setup is still failing so in that case it could be an issue with the current outlook profile and uh, i would recommend to add your email account in a new outlook profile after creating a new outlook profile so let me show you how to create a new outlook profile you can create a new profile by going to file account settings manage profiles and from here you can create a new profile so in this window click on add and give it a name of your choice for the new profile and click ok ok and either we can try to add uh, the email account from here itself or we can just close this window so I'm going to click ok that will create a new profile you can see that the new profile is created and from here just close outlook and reopen it so next time you open outlook you will be asked to select the profile so from here we are selecting the file we just created and you can add the email account Alright, so that's all for today and I hope that gave you a decent understanding of troubleshooting account setup failures in Outlook. Okay, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe my channel to see more videos like this.